welcome back to my channel where we are on our mission to make our mobile home a mobile mansion. We are headed to the boys' bedroom today. So anything done to my kiddos room always is inspired by my kiddos. So I go in asking them what particular things they want to see in their room. I ask them for specifics, colors, ideas, things like that. And then I make all of that happen. I bring it all together. So Colton wrote me a list of things the boys really wanted to see in their bedroom. Down to specific colors and even little wood touches and accents and stuff like that. So I'm gonna take his vision put it in my brain and have Shane do the work. <laughs> Let's get this daggone thing done, son. <laughs> I think we're starting a new trend with these curtains. Check this out. What in the world? Can it? That looks like some high dollar, some high dollar curtain rods right there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's get to going. I can't. <laughs> they were different though. They're unique. This is the state of my hallway right now. And it flows into the living room too. There's so much stuff. <laughs> so much stuff. Oh my gosh. You think we can pull this off? No. Shane! <laughs> <laughs> But first, cleaning the carpet. So we all know, if you've had boys, you know, you know that the carpet in their room, if they have carpet, it stinks. It's rank, y'all. So I came up with this massive concoction that'll cover up any turd smell. You literally just put scent beads in there with some fabric softener in there. It's basically like washing a load of laundry. You put your detergent in there and you put some vinegar in there and some hot, hot water and run it over their carpet. It obviously doesn't get stains out that are like old paint stains like you see here. Their their carpet looks like a crime scene and it's not their fault, it, it's mine. Both of those stains, the dark stain and the red stain, I have a track record for staining carpet with paint. We painted their room dark, dark gray before we painted it red <laughs> and there's the stain to prove it and then we painted it red and then there's the stain to prove it. So it doesn't get paint stains out. But let me tell you, this concoction, it got the smell out. It was smelling like a whole load of laundry by the time I got done with it. And it smelled good. I didn't have the funds in the envelope. So if you're new here and you don't know, if you're old here, then you know no. It's that I do envelopes for each makeover I do. And I don't go a dollar over budget. And new carpet in this room was just not in the budget. Future, yes. Future plans, absolutely, we're gonna change the flooring and everything, but for right now, I did not have the funds in the envelope to do new carpet, so we worked with what we have. So this trailer was only two years old when we bought it, but we are almost positive that it was a show house before it was bought, and then after it was purchased, it wasn't taken care of at all. We bought this place and the floors were falling through, there were holes in the walls, the walls were discolored. There were so many issues that weren't just cosmetic there were structural issues when we got this trailer it wasn't even funny and it was only two years old the hole in the wall that you see Shane fixing right now was actually a previous hole in the wall when we first bought it we fixed it and then it just reopened because there was no door stopper back here the door just went right through it it was already a weak wall so Shane's taking this whole section out and redoing it so that that doesn't happen again we're also placing a wall thing back here a doorknob thing a doorknob stopper so that it doesn't happen again we're slowly learning how to fix things for long term and not short term also we 
Cammy used this as his stash place. <laughs> we found a change purse with some plastic eggs. A pig that sings to you. <laughs> the kids kept telling me, Mama, there's a noise in the wall in the middle of the night. And I was just like, no, in Jesus' name. It was actually a pig. And it farts, too. <laughs> so it would drive them nuts at 1 and 2 in the morning. The pig would go off singing and farting. <laughs> and it drove them nuts. Shane finally found the culprit. It was actually back in here. Cammy had stashed it in here with his change purse and his plastic eggs. So we had to get all that out. It was like diving in the trash bin, getting all that stuff out. He had stored so much stuff in there. We used this tape kit that we got at Lowe's for drywall. It came with tape and then this pink stuff. And once it dries, it turns from pink to a light color. And so we did that. And then all we had to do was go back in and sand it once it was dried. This was really easy. We really liked this wall kit. We've never used it before, but it made changing out drywall a breeze. It was so much easier than what we normally have to go through with joint compound and everything. And now that we have our handy dandy sander, that also made it pretty easy too. makeover did take a long time because our schedules are just whack but also because I couldn't stop talking Shane was getting so over it wait till y'all see the time skip here in a minute like you see what it looks like outside right now I was legit talking like it got dark and I looked over and Shane was covered up with the drop cloth crap well holler at me I will girl you get that bedroom done Shane get uncovered <laughs> I got to talk. Bye, be careful. Love you. I'm just talking to everybody. Usually our makeovers don't take this long, but this bedroom is at the end of the trailer where all the people are. So if I see someone going up and down the road, I'm like, hey, how you doing? How's your mom? How's your kids and them? <laughs> kind of thing. So it, I got sidetracked so much by the cars and everything. This is how we decided how we were going to put up our chair rail. It wasn't exactly perfect, not exactly level, but the wood was really wide and we had a leveler. So we just kind of needed to know where to stop painting the black and where to start painting the white. I started on the black and the black took two coats. It's in the color Noir by Valspar. Noir, Noir by Valspar. And then the white is the kilts paint that everyone Everyone told me to get it took four coats of the kilts paint the kilts white paint the paint that's supposed to cover anything four coats of it to cover up the red completely and two coats of the noir by Valspar to cover up with the black now I probably could have done a whole coat of white and then done the black over it and probably wouldn't have had to do two coats but I'm a very I want to see change now kind of person so I wanted to see 
right off the bat what it was going to look like split colored like this so i just went on and did the two coats of black it, it honestly didn't hurt nothing anyway shane was on the white for so long we both like took turns on the white because it was just too much for one person so shane was on the white for a really long time so i'd be down there working on the black and just like painting odds and ends and areas and stuff like that and then we'd switch and he'd go take a break and i'd jump on the white just because it was a lot of painting this project was probably the most painting we have ever done on a project <laughs> I can't take any credit for what we're doing on this wall to my left because I got the inspiration from Pinterest. We just kind of modified some things. I was looking on Pinterest for some ideas because the boys gave me a specific list. They wanted black, they wanted bright colors, they wanted wood tones. And I was like, how can I make this look really neat for them? So I was looking on Pinterest one day and I saw this picture of this board and bat and stuff on walls and it was a split colored and I was like man I'd love to do that on my walls but it's a mobile home and I don't think it would look right let me tell you you can do anything to a mobile homes wall that you can do to any other wall a flat surface is a flat surface don't ever get discouraged when you're getting on here and you're seeing all these fancy people's houses or you're getting on Pinterest and you're seeing all these things that you would like to do but you live in a modular home or a mobile home or a double wide or a single wide or a tiny house or a camper you can do anything a flat surface is a flat surface you just have to modify it a little bit and that's what we did and it worked so well. You get me the heart feels on it away in the dark in these five full hours. I will give you mine. In case you guys are wondering what she's doing. Marina is singing a concert. Hey, I'm recording you. Um, listen. <laughs> While she is singing a concert, I'm cleaning up her mess she just made. What the heck? It's a, enough. <laughs> Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, if we didn't have a whole look we were going for, that would be really cool. Like, we've already established the look, but that is pretty cool. I can see a Dale Earnhardt sticker right here. <laughs> they wouldn't let me, but I like it.
we just found the wood size that we wanted for the chair rail. We just found what we thought would look best in Lowe's and I stained it with some red mahogany. Honestly, the red mahogany doesn't look much different than the Jacobian. But the boys picked out the red mahogany in Lowe's so we just went with it. Shane is using the window trim you can find in the trim section in Lowe's. It's the thick kind that's stainable and paintable. Let me just say how impressed I am with his angles. We even put on door, new doorknobs for the closet door and a whole new door. He put on a whole new door in the main area where the boys walk into their room. I am so impressed. This is how he measured out the board and battens that we decided to do. He did a really good job on these as well. I'm just sitting over here watching all these kiddos play in the yard. Shane's about to saw but the crime scene porch. The porch makeover is going to have to be sooner than later. We were planning on doing it next month. It's going to have to go down sometime soon. So we may do it in that steps. honestly looks like we had a pigeon fly over our house that had just... So what I'm thinking about doing with the porch, because I can't really do it all at one point, at one time in one video, if I'm doing it sooner than later, because we're doing some massive... It's not just paint and stuff. Like, we are building onto the porch. So... We'll probably have to do like step one porch makeover and then step two like part one. I hate saying part one and part two because I hate watching part one and part two videos. Like that's my biggest pet peeve on YouTube. I, I rarely ever do part one, part two videos. Have I ever? I don't even know if I have or not, but that's why I don't do them because I don't like watching them myself. I'll do like a porch makeover, which is just getting it back to tip top shape after this monstrosity. <laughs> and then we'll do an updated porch makeover where we just add on to what we already did. That way I have more time to budget the big addition that way we can get this fixed um, sooner than later and I don't have to wait until we do all of it together because that's something I was worried about getting it done all together so we'll just do it like it won't be kind of part one part two because I'll finish the first makeover in the first video but then we'll just build on top of it with videos does that make sense because it's pretty gnarly <laughs> you guys are soft feet climbing. There's like everybody's kids are out today, but it's pretty gnarly, gnarly damage. It's You didn't even tell me you were about to do it. I'm sorry for the footage that y'all did not get of me cutting these two. <laughs> Unfortunately, my cameraman was a little preoccupied. Watching her children. <laughs> Watching her children. I mean, who does that? <laughs> To modify this to make it work in a single wide, we just took down the manufactured battens and we put up our own battens, which is the thicker battens for the design that we wanted. We didn't worry about sanding that down or anything because we knew we were just replacing them with thicker ones. So we took these off, it's really easy. You just razor blade them off and if you're not going to get rid of them completely and you're gonna cover them up, you don't have to sand or anything like that. So we didn't. Okay. Here's Marina. Popping some nails in. Oh man, look at that. I can't reach. Oh no. Look at this, all you cleaning up her masses. Since we're usually not good with angles, Shane had an easy way of just putting it over top the battens and drawing a line on the batten that he wanted to cut the angle on, and that made it super easy. Did you ever think as a kid when you built stuff with popsicle sticks that you'd just be building stuff with bigger popsicle <laughs> sticks? <laughs> no. I didn't build with popsicle sticks a whole lot. What? I played with Legos. But I, even then, I didn't have none of the crazy sets and stuff they have now. Couldn't afford that stuff. It'd be like, Mom! I want Legos. We have Legos at home. The Legos at home are Duplos. They're, they're <laughs> mega blocks. <laughs> <laughs> Explain how you're doing that, because we all need to know, because I don't know how you're doing that. I just draw the lines. So you're putting them, you probably hear our kids outside playing out the window here, <laughs> but you, so you draw the line, you just lay the piece over uh -huh. the two pieces and then you draw yep. the line and that's how you get the angle cut? That's how I get the angle cut, buddy dog. Easy enough. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so I got the vacuum clear and vacuum. I got the vacuum clear and vac. I got the floor. It's light. I got the floor vacuumed and cleared again because we had all that paint y'all saw earlier. Uh, we had all that paint stored there. I'm gonna lay down the rug and kind of like lay it down, and then we're gonna move the bed over because this side has yet to be painted. We're doing one side at a time because the bed is so big and so heavy. So we're going to lay the carpet out, roll it, try to roll it up underneath the bed, and move the bed over here so we can work on this side of the room better and then vice versa it hopefully that'll work out so the carpet that we're going to be putting down is the carpet that we're reusing from the living room from a while back before i got the rug that's in there now which i got a lot of questions about that rug almost in every video somebody's asking where i got the rug that's in my living room i got it from ross y'all bless you i got it from ross for a very good price we're going to use the rug that we had in the living room before i got that rug in here it's just a very i think it's called like angel hair or something it's very light so i'm kind the nervous but we have for the last few weeks been saying no to food and drinks in the bedrooms and that's bless you <laughs> that's minimized messes on the carpet so they still happen because you know markers and stuff still get sneaked in here and stuff like that and it's just inevitable with kids but hopefully we can keep that carpet clean enough to where i just have to run a carpet cleaner over it a few times a month and if we can do that, then I will be happy. <laughs> if not, then, you know, we can, at least we can say we tried to do this in a more frugal way. Buying carpet right now would be a lot of money. Buying a new rug would be extra money that I don't really need to spend if this rug works. So, and it, I think the color of the rug will look really good with the walls and stuff anyway in the room when it's done. And it'll brighten it up in here because this carpet is very dark brown. It's very dingy looking. So, I think it'll brighten it up in here too, which is the goal. The goal is to keep it bright in here because the boys like bright lit areas the red kind of made it feel like a dungeon in here they do love that they they really liked the red but it did at night especially at night time make it feel like a dungeon in here so i'm excited that this already i can tell from this side of the wall it's going to be nice and bright in here even in the night time which was a goal that we really wanted to meet so thumbs up for that Come look at your windows. My baby's had fancy blinds. Yes. I got blinds. No. You got the fancy blinds. Fanciest blinds in the house. Who's that? American Rentals. Somebody's losing the couch today. I've been there, done that. I mean, it happens. All right, now you got to come through. I'm stuck. You had a plan, wait, right? Wait, 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 wait. There oh you go. my gosh. Listen, I lost five pounds on Weight Watchers and now I can shimmy in places I couldn't before. She's doing it. Don't pull oh, on that. Oh, don't tell me not to pull on something. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Help. You know what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're in time out. <laughs> I need to get out. No. Nope. I'm getting claustrophobic. Come on, I need to get out. You're, you're in time. I'm out. literally getting claustrophobic. I don't want this. You look like the kids when they had those play pens. <laughs> Tommy they... Pickles over here. You, you look like... Baby's got to do it. Baby's got to do <laughs> Look at you. Oh, my knee. The American Ninja Warrior over here. <laughs> so just jump on the moped. That's a different person. She <laughs> beat him up and stole it. it. <laughs> she freaking Grand Theft Autoed it. You know when so you play, much going on in the trailer You know when today. you play that game and they come riding by you on the motorcycle and you do this? Doof! <laughs> and then you just get on it and ride off? That's what happened.
Okay, so this is the door that we have, the new door for the boys' room. We got it at Lowe's. Lowe's does not specifically make doors for trailers, so we're going to saw this hollow faux wood door and see if it'll work in the boys' room. The boys' door was completely demolished. It it was in bad condition whenever we bought the trailer anyway. That was one thing that was just, it had basically already had it, but it's definitely had it now. So we're just going to saw this and see if we can modify it to make it fit in, in the boys' room door socket. That's not what you're supposed to call it. Door frame, door frame, not door socket. <laughs> So this project has been taking a while between school and work and all the things like it's taking us a while to get this bedroom done but at night time when everybody lays down Shane's been working on this custom piece for Colton's room. He's just got the first layer done finally. It's taking forever but he just got the first layer done finally and he's going to go in and like detail it up here later once we get the bedroom finally done hopefully the bedroom will be done today that's our goal to have the bedroom done today and then all of my footage imported so that i can start editing and stuff because we have a lot of plans for this week and we have a few days off so that we can do some fun things that we had planned forever ago so hopefully this bedroom makeover is done today here's hoping we only have a few more steps to go this is going to be the thing that takes the longest just because there's a lot of detail that has to go into it and then more layers oh and look at shane's shirt he's wearing today look what say it with me this? say it with me now hashtag tater nation <laughs> you gotta put a little more oomph into it you can't just say hashtag tater nation it's gotta be hashtag <laughs> One of our friends sent us that and he just thought that was the berries. <laughs>
what I have taken up this floor right here. Y'all can see it right there. Because it was super damaged. And there was never a piece here to separate the carpet from the flooring anyway. Because we ran out of flooring by the time we got here. And then that flooring I realized I didn't do it right. So I planned on redoing the whole entire hallway flooring. Which I still plan on doing that right now. You can't walk through it because we've been working in here. But I plan on redoing this whole entire flooring in the hallway, redoing it a more um, staggered way versus just laying it like I have in my kitchen and dining room versus just laying it flat against one another. That's the thing with DIY projects and learning how to do it by experience and over time is you do things and then you realize in the future in that you've done things wrong in the past and you go back and you refix it that's the whole part of learning how to do these home improvements by myself and by sh by ourselves so we're just going to redo this area here at the door for right now and then when we redo the hallway because we have to redo the it needs a new coat of paint we have to redo all the trims because all the trims are busted let me show you for example for example this trim right here is busted there's no trim going down it's just half a trim so we need all new we need all new trim throughout the hallway so that's something that's going to be coming up we also need to caulk things that we had done before and we didn't realize they need to caulk in or we didn't caulk enough or we just didn't caulk at all you know this is why you don't get lazy with DIY projects because you end up just giving yourself more work to do in the future. And I've learned that and that's why this year one of my New Year's resolutions was to start and finish a project completely. With ADHD it's really hard because you go back and forth in every which way all the time. Like I'll start something and then move on and then move on and move on. That's just how my mind works. You okay? That's just how my mind works. It's just starting this, I do a little bit, and then I'm like, ooh, that needs to be done, and I jump over here, and I never jump back to finish what I had started before I jumped over here and started this thing. So I'm really trying to stay mindful of that with this year, and I really think it's showing in my DIYs because I'm being more aware as to like, okay, caulk does a lot, paint does a lot, trim does a lot. All these little things that aren't as fun as the big things, they do a lot for the room in general, like for the room in a whole. So I could stop here. Old Marina would have stopped here and said, oh, this ain't part of the bedroom, so it doesn't need to be fixed but this is a part of the bedroom because it is the entryway and even though i don't really want to feel worth it right now i need to in order to complete this bedroom completely so we are going to lay some of our flooring which is the um taupe oak i believe in the Treadmaster, if i'm not mistaken it's a brand from home depot i'm going to relay those here and then we're going to put a divider between the carpet and the flooring like there should be it'll improve the look but most importantly it will be there because it's supposed to be there. Shane's hunting me down the stuff, so I'm going to finish rolling out this carpet because I vacuumed the flooring underneath it. All the flooring underneath it has been already vacuumed and uh, the carpets have been shampooed. But we were working with drywall and fixing holes in the walls and stuff, so all that got everywhere. I vacuumed that up, and I'm going to roll this carpet out and vacuum it too so that we can move the bed over and get the dresser in here. We do have to clear out that hallway before we get the dresser through that hallway, though. It's going to be a pain in the rear end, but we're going to do it. Y'all see how I'm sweating? See? Oh. Let me tell you, this thyroid medicine is working, too, because I am so motivated. I'm always motivated. I have a lot of energy. It's a blessing and a curse, I tell y'all. But the thyroid medicine, what do you think? Like, I've been on it for a week now. Yeah, it's it's been positive changes. So positive. Like, I, I didn't realize I felt horrible <laughs> like because i just keep going regardless of how i feel if i'm feeling sick if i'm feeling tired i just keep going because i have so much energy in me and like i said it's a blessing because i get a lot of stuff done but it's a curse because it's a curse <laughs> it's not really a curse but you know what i mean like it sometimes i need to learn to slow down my thought process i try to keep it slowed down otherwise i'm everywhere my my speech is everywhere um something i'm trying to work on so I see think I'm more i lost my train of thought it's gone like far in the wind yeah we're gonna redo the probably the first three there um and we're going that that piece is and we're going to stagger them there? you said in the back of the truck <laughs> i thought we brought it in bless you um look. see i lost my train of thought right there what was i even talking about i don't remember <laughs> Oh, the carpet. I'm going to roll out the carpet. We've already cleaned the carpet underneath it and vacuumed it real good. So now I'm going to roll this out and vacuum the top carpet so that we can maneuver the uh, dresser in here and stuff.
getting down here and unrolling it. First of all, it's too big for this room. That's how big of a rug this is. Secondly, though, I'm getting some funky mildew smells where, well, not really mildew. It's just y yuck smells where it's been rolled up and stored for so long. So I'm going to actually run the carpet cleaner over it versus vacuuming it. There's not a lot that needs to be vacuumed on it anyway. I say that as I pick up some lost Legos. But there's not a lot that needs to be vacuumed on it anyway. So I don't want to run the vacuum over it and get that smell going in here because it's like rank. <laughs> Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Okay, we'll do it. YOLO, if it stinks in here, it stinks in here. I got a fruity smelling wall plug in, so it's just gonna smell like a fruit covered fart, but it is what it is. Alright, we gotta move you guys. Hold on. the bat I really wanted these handles black but Colton had said that he wanted the oldish antique looking kind so I did that and he wanted it darker and I didn't want to ask him if I could do it black because I didn't want to to change his mind on what he wanted right like I didn't want to have to talk him into anything so I did him I said Colt would you like these darker and he said yeah and I said what if we did them black is that dark enough or is that too dark and he's like that's perfect so we went with black So this is what it's looking like so far. Still got a lot of little things to do, so we gotta get on it, doggone it. But it's coming along. 
So, of course, this had to stay. This is something Colton calls our family heirloom. It was one of the only two pieces of furniture that Shane and I had when we first got married. We had this little iron, what we used as a movie rack back then, and a couch, and that was it. <laughs> so, I put a picture of Colton and Cammie in a picture frame. We got at Ross. We also got that lamp at Ross and that plant at Ross. And I felt this little piggy bank here at Walmart, and I thought that would go perfect there. These baskets are from Lowe's. I wanted plenty of storage. I don't show you guys the storage in this video but in an upcoming video I have to go through and organize and declutter their toys and that's when I'll be showing you guys what I put in these things remember the after shots are like for aesthetic my boy's room does not look like that my boy's room isn't about aesthetics so whenever you see it next you will see Star Wars pillows all over the bed Furbies because they love Furbies all sorts of stuffed animals there'll be toys in places and stuff like that that's just a boy's room this home first and foremost is a place where we share space with one another with the ones we love most and that's just what a kid's room looks like a kid's room is not all neutral and white and clean and stuff this is just what it looked like after we got done making it over and then i'll go in in an upcoming video when i organize our toys and i'll show you guys what it actually looks like with them and their stuff in this room because i want you guys to see the difference between what you see online versus what a kid's room actually looks like a kid's room is a kid's room so please keep that in mind don't go taking away your kids colorful things because you saw someone on the internet do it know that my kids room probably looks just like your kids rooms there's colors everywhere and that's okay because kids love colors they love fun things kids aren't meant to just stay in a white and black four by eight or however big this room is room and just live there they're not meant to exist they're meant to have fun and live life to the fullest this is my favorite transformation check it out it doesn't even look like the same room colton is putting money in his piggy bank already down here as you can see i got after shots in the light and in the dark so you guys could really see the detail but it doesn't even look like the same room my absolute most favorite room transformation in our home thus far it just has totally changed the whole feel of this room it feels cozy it feels comfortable i've noticed my boys have stayed in it i can't hardly get them out of it they're absolutely ah. loving it wow wow cool cool he said wow cool wow <laughs> you like it a big hug a squeeze hug mm, there it is <laughs> You I, like it. I like getting here. You Did like you see it? your shelf over there? Oh, no. He's half asleep. I like getting here. You do? Is it cozy? Mm -hmm. You like? What's your favorite part? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what I'm gonna be putting in here? What? I'm giving you my PS4. I'm gonna stick my PS4 right there and you're gonna have my PS4 and I'm gonna put Fortnite and everything on it for you. So you can sit in here and play Fortnite. And we'll just put... I, ooh, hey! <laughs> that woke him up. Ooh, hey! Who is that? Who is that? Colton and Cameron. <laughs> Do you remember that? Love. Love you. Love you. <laughs> is that Big Brother? Say, I love Big Brother. Oh, he's looking for his hair. <laughs> Where's your hair at? You had so much hair there. <laughs> Where's it at? <laughs> oh no, your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Right here is where we're going to put the painting that Shane's making, the boys. He hasn't got it done yet though, but as soon as he gets it done, I'll be sure to update you guys in another video. But it's going to be a big old painting right there. That's where we're going to get all the colors and stuff like that. And once we get the colors up, we have blankets that will play off the colors and off the colors of that, giving the boys the color in here that they wanted. He's just so limited on time, it's not even funny. So we're having to work like around schedules. <laughs> Thank you. 
thank y'all for being my best friends. I hope you guys have a blessed morning, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you, but Jesus loves y'all so much more. I will see y'all later.